Extending more corporate welfare to the New York Racing Association makes absolutely no sense financially. Horse racing is an archaic, long and decline gambling business that is simply unable to compete with the lottery, casinos, and now mobile sports betting. But beyond cheating school children out of tens of millions in desperately needed education dollars each year, there is a real cost to all of this in lives, specifically the lives of the so-called equine athletes this industry so deceptively celebrates. Horse Racing Wrongs is a national nonprofit known for, among other things, compiling and reporting unprecedented data on the U.S. horse racing industry. In the most recent five-year period, 2018 through 2022, the combined death toll at Aqueduct and Belmont, which is precisely what the new Belmont would comprise, is 274, a figure that would rank first in the nation in horses killed. That is what Governor Hochul is proposing to build the deadliest racetrack in America. Viewed another way, if Naira gets this money and builds this track, using the historical average of 61 dead annually at Aqueduct Belmont, we can reasonably expect another 1,200 or so horses to perish at the new Belmont Park over the term of this loan. That's 1,200 beautiful, intelligent, sensitive creatures who will be killed for nothing more than $2 bets and by an industry that is being propped up by taxpayers. And this doesn't even begin to account for the myriad more who will be raced in New York and who, once the industry is done exploiting them, will land in equine hell, the slaughterhouse. In short, we are asking the legislature to please reject this latest money grab by Naira, and by doing so, protect and save the lives of countless horses. Thank you.